An out-of-battery discharge is something that is unfortunately too common in the world of AR9s. So let's talk about what they are and what you can do to avoid them. Welcome to Pork Tactical. An out-of-battery discharge occurs when the round is fired while not being fully seated in the chamber and when the bolt is not fully against the receiver. When a round is detonated in this way, bad things can happen. This is fairly common in blowback 9mm for a couple of reasons that we will discuss shortly. But first, let's take a look at some out of battery examples. Damn, let's take a look at that again. Watch the magazine fly out. Boom. That guy could have actually lost an eye, so not using eye protection was pretty stupid. Here's another example. Thankfully, he is wearing eye protection, but you saw him grimace there, right? That's from getting hit in the face with shrapnel. Watch. Right there. Ouch. I've had that happen and it's not fun. So what happened here was that the bolt was not closed all the way and the round exploded. And all of that energy basically, you know, shot shrapnel into the guy's face. And as you can see here, the round is quite deformed. Not looking good. But a lot of that hit him in the face. Let's take a look at another one here. Uh, here you're going to see the magazine fly out just the same as we did on the first one. So right about here. Boom. You saw that puff of smoke and the magazine went flying out. So that's, that is exactly what happened to me. And uh, you can see here there's quite a bit of shrapnel, quite a bit of damage to the, the guy's gun. Um, it's not uncommon for people to sustain burns and, and kind of shrapnel to the hands when this occurs. Thankfully, I was wearing gloves, so I didn't really have uh, any injuries from, from my out-of-battery, but uh, I've seen plenty of people online that have, so I consider myself to be uh, lucky in this case for sure. So this problem is not completely unique to the AR9 platform. However, the AR9 platform, uh, I see this happen way more than I do on other platforms. And I think the root cause is because there is no mil spec for AR9. And because of that, it's kind of the wild, wild west with regards to parts and components and specifications. The, the two high level reasons that this happens with an AR9 are due to bolt bounce and due to flat faced bolts that do not have feed lugs. So let's talk about bolt bounce first. Most AR9s are direct blowback. And so what that means is that when a round fires, the pressure of the detonation slams the bolt back into the receiver. Then the spring and the buffer absorb the energy of the bolt and return the bolt back to chamber another round. So this is a physics-based uh, action. It is very violent, and without the presence of some mechanism to delay the bolt and or the buffer returning the bolt, this action can cause the bolt to return very quickly and slam into the receiver. The slamming of the receiver can cause the bolt to bounce backwards, creating a slight opening during detonation. So. The way that you mitigate this is you need some sort of mechanism to slow the bolt either when it's moving backward or when it's returning. So from a bolt perspective, you can go into some sort of delayed system similar to the CMMG radial delayed blowback. From a buffer perspective, you need to have a buffer that has weights inside of it. Um, well, it doesn't have to have weights inside of it, but you need some sort of mechanism from the buffer perspective that slows the, slows the action or the return of the bolt just enough so that it doesn't slam so hard that it, you know, moves back away from the chamber. So you can get a dead blow buffer that has weights in it. You could also go the route of a hydraulic buffer. Um, and then there's also Maxim Defense makes a roller delayed buffer, um, which sort of works like the roller delay in the MP5, only it puts that action back at the buffer. Now, these are all great options. I would say with regards to the hydro, I'm sorry, with regards to the roller delayed buffer, the only issue that I see with this is that it adds about 
30 pounds of pull weight on the charge handle. So if you're an older person or if you are, you know, uh, somebody that has weaker hand strength or weaker upper body strength, a 30 pound pull weight might be too much for somebody to, to handle. So just understand that, that that is a potential issue. The second reason one might have an outer battery discharge with a AR9 platform is due to a flat faced bolt. And so if you take a look at this picture on the left hand side, you will see that at the bottom of the bolt on the face where, and this is the area that meets the carrier, there is no feed lug. So if you compare that to the one on the right that has the feed lug, what that feed lug does is that prevents the firing pin from striking the round before the round is fully chambered into the gun. Now, this is important because if you have a stuck firing pin and if your bolt slams forward and if your bolt face is able to make contact with the round, you know, before it's fully chambered, well, this could result in an out of battery detonation. So there are some manufacturers that kind of moved toward the flat face design. I'm not sure if they still have those designs, but you definitely want to avoid those types of bolts. Okay, well, hopefully I have given you enough information so that when you decide to either buy or build an AR9, you kind of know what to look for. Um, and really the hope is that you don't end up like myself and like this guy right here, and you can avoid uh, the topic of the outer battery detonation. If you have enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and I would really appreciate it if you shared this content. Thank you very much.